and then we just light it. Now that's going to burn for several minutes. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself fire paste. Stay tuned. So often when we're out in the backcountry practicing our survival skills or practicing bushcraft, getting a fire can be difficult in inclement conditions. It's been wet, rainy, snowy, icing, whatever. And I know that it's always good to have the skills to be able to make a fire like that regardless of the conditions and surroundings. But for those who are getting started and for some of us who just want a cheap, surefire way to get a fire started anytime you really need one, this is for you. I also want to give a big thanks to all of you that help support the channel through Patreon as well as by buying some of our merch like this great Waypoint Survival hoodie and uh, the other merchandise that we have. It really is very much appreciated. To make this fire paste, you're going to need a couple of simple items. First of all, just a can with some hardwood wood ash. It is dry. You don't want it to be wet, so this needs to be thoroughly dried out. And then also, you're going to need a little bit of kerosene. Now you want to do your best to make sure that there aren't any large chunks in here. You can grind them up or you can kind of shake it and process it like that and a lot of the larger chunks will come to the surface. You want to get rid of those. Of course you could always use some sort of a sifter to make sure that it's decently fine. Next you want to get some sort of a stirring stick, just something I picked off of a shrub. And then you want to add your kerosene and you want to do this slow. You want it to be a paste. Uh, it needs to be uh, so that it can squeeze out of a tube but not be super runny. So we're going to do this and I'll add it and stir it and then get back to you. I would recommend doing this in a couple of stages and not pouring too much at once. So making this is a little bit like stirring concrete. Uh, you want to add enough so that it has a little bit of a, of a kind of a gooey consistency and uh, you'll know when you get it just about right It'll cling together and uh, come out pretty nice, but it's not going to be powdery. All right, so you just have to work a little bit with it till you get the consistency. You don't want it runny. You don't want kerosene just dripping out of it. So that's what it needs to look like. Next, you'll also want to get something like this. This is a silicone squeeze tube, and these are leak proof. They're made for hair gels and all sorts of things. Uh, they are uh, three ounce, you can get them two ounce, but they are for carrying uh, your luggage on board an airplane and what's nice about this is not only does this cap come off but you can also take this off so it makes it a little easier to fill without making a big mess of things and uh, clean up is of course a breeze with the silicone all you do take an old spoon and start shoveling it in here now this is going to take you a little while to get it in here and you can use your stick to push it on in until you get it full I'll do that and get back with you once you get sufficient in there and it's all the way to the top, go ahead and tap it a little bit like this uh, just to make sure that you got it all in there. And then, of course, clean off the top. And then with a paper towel, go ahead and wipe around it, trying not to squeeze it, of course. But we want to make sure that we get that top nice and clean. Then we put this back over it just like that. And now we have our leak-proof squeeze tube. And what's nice about these kind of tubes, they also have a, a suction cup. So if you want to stick it to something, you can. Although I doubt in the woods you'll find anything for that. All right, let's go ahead and light it. So it's been wet and rainy here for several days. And of course, it's been winter for a while now. But these sticks are outside sticks. They're not been dried in the house. So they're damp. But doing this, this will get a fire started, even using marginal tinder. So you can squeeze it out just like this. You only need maybe a teaspoon of it or so. If it doesn't come out fast enough for you, you can always open this up and just put a little glob down like that. And that works well too. And then we just light it. Now that's going to burn for several minutes. Plenty hot enough to get a fire going in just about any kind of conditions and it's going to really help your survival tasks and uh, once you get your fire going of course you can add more fuel to it. 
I do want to add that I got this idea from one of my viewers and I understand that in places like the Philippines they do things like this and they'll mix this up, put it in a mason jar, put the lid on it and then just use a teaspoon or so, dip it out and put it on top of their firewood to start their fires and it's just a, a cheap and easy fire starter so I wanted to share it with you. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link, and this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos, and we'll talk to you next time.